Now, taking a look at Tesla, like we said today, it is currently down. This is a one hour chart. And at this moment, we have fallen under this five SMA and underneath this trend. So just taking a look at this descending wedge, which we're not going to break and talk about too much because we've done that a lot over the past week since we've been watching this thing squeeze. But just throwing on the candle replays, you can see that as we're pulling down to this level, this is where I would have started to go long. Not on this first candle. This would be our first sign of a potential buy signal. But the candle that I would really be looking to go long on was the break over this 5 SMA. So if we would have went long on the candle closing over the 5 SMA, what we're looking for is a break under as kind of our take profit slash stop loss. So at this moment, you can see we broke under. This was that candle, if you remember on Friday, very volatile candle break under, but we don't care because we're waiting for that candle to close pushes right back up. We're still in this trade. And as we're continuing to move on Friday, obviously we continue to push and use this five SMA as a support. Obviously we would have made pretty good money on that. Now this morning I entered my position. I called this out to the premium team. I'm up pretty decent amount right now, but I entered 300 shares of Tesla at 9 37 AM. And the reason for this was yes, even though we bro we broke this uptrend momentarily and we're under this 5 SMA, the fact that the trend was still green is why I entered because entering down here, right, even though the trend was momentarily broken, but the candles did not close, which is the most important thing. Even though that occurred, what you can see here is that if we would have entered down around that range that I got in at, setting a stop loss on the one hour candle close somewhere down at like 158, 159 with a take profit back up here. We have a really solid two to one RVR. And if you set a tighter stop loss, a three to one RVR. So even though this was a very low probability of actually being a green trade at the end of the day, the RVR was so good that it's worth it. Now, to be quite honest, if we close this one hour candle within the next 10 minutes under 164, I might just walk away, take the profits I have, because then the downtrend will be broken. If we move over, however, and we take a look at the four hour, you can see that the four hour, and this is another reason why I entered, I actually talked about this here within this chart, because we had this pullback down to this SMA, excuse me. And from here, we bounced off of that SMA on the four hour and we're running back up. So on this bigger time frame, the four hour is still holding this five minute trend, but the one hour is, or this five SMA trend, but the one hour isn't. So we'll see what happens. Looking at the four, it does look like we might push back up to 170, like we've been saying, but this morning was a phenomenal entry. That's why I got in and my trade, I'm very, very happy with. I'm up a good amount of money at this point. Still down on my longer calls, the Junes, but as far as an actual position, this was very good. Now, if we were to make a lower low on this candle, for sure, I would definitely be out of that trade. But Tesla, for the moment, still on the short term, is bullish, and I would be waiting to preemptively look to take a short position. If we start to close under this 163, 164 level, and we start to use this area as a resistance today, like let's say next candle opens, push up, reject, next candle, push up, reject. We could have a short position here, but by then I think that wouldn't be till like two, three in the afternoon. And uh, I'll probably keep you guys updated within the discord or on my Twitter. So make sure you follow those um, so you can get access to all of our information real time. But Tesla's looking pretty good.